Welcome back to the report. Now, since the fall of the Zahatu dictatorship in 1998, the world's most populated Muslim country, Indonesia, has seen a slow transition to democracy, with the first direct presidential elections held in 2004. Ten years on, and the country has just inaugurated its seventh president today. Afzal Ahmed has more on this story. Demi Allah, saya bersumpah. Akan memenuhi kewajiban Presiden Republik Indonesia dengan sebaik-baiknya dan seadil-adilnya. The moment the newly elected President of Indonesia took power in what is regarded as a defining event for the world's third largest democracy, Joko Widodo, widely known as Jokowi, is the seventh but first president to come from a background which is neither military nor political elite. In July this year, he defeated former military general Prabowo Subianto in a closely contested election, gaining 53% of the vote. Strongly driven by his man-of-the-people image, he has promised to focus on health care and education. Untuk bekerja dengan semangat yang sama dalam menjalankan tugas dan fungsinya masing-masing. Widodo's rag to riches story, beginning as a furniture businessman, has made him popular with many Indonesians who see him as an alternative to the elitism of other politicians. Thank <laughs> Dan saya kira saya tahu saya merasa bahwa rakyat berada di belakang Pak Jokowi dan Pak JK untuk membawa bangsa ini sesuai dengan slogan mereka ke depan revolusi mental untuk bangsa kita. The president has many challenges ahead of him, with the toughest having to work with a parliament that comprises of a majority against him. His refusal to indulge in the old game of trading support for jobs has pushed unaligned parties to the opposition. He also faces key economic and domestic problems that will test his lack of experience in the national and international scene. Cutting few subsidies will be his first big economic test as the country looks to cut down on a budget deficit reaching £18 billion a year. Domestically, he will look to stifle a recent rise in ethnic and religious intolerance. International players are also sceptical on his focus on foreign affairs amid concerns the new president may be more inward-looking given a preoccupation with domestic agendas. In a country which boasts the world's largest Muslim population and a key economic power in global politics, many will be waiting to see whether the new president has the political will to harness this. Afzal Ahmed, The Report, Islam Channel. Well, the new Indonesian president, Joko Widodo, used his first speech to the nation to call for an improvement in the country's maritime power. He quoted the first Indonesian president, Sukarno, saying, in order to build Indonesia into a strong nation, we need the spirit of courage to face the waves. Well, meanwhile, here in Britain on Saturday...